Is there a longevity vitamin? If you've never heard of ergothionine, you're not alone, but this rare, powerful compound may be the most important longevity nutrient of our time. In this first episode of our Sunday longevity nutrient series, we're gonna spotlight ergothionine, no better place to start. It's a unique amino acid that's mostly found in mushrooms and increasingly called the longevity vitamin. So let's see how it's getting this name. This is from a uh, presentation I do on mushrooms and specifically getting to ergothionine. Ergo what? It's a naturally occurring hydrophilic amino acid that is only synthesized by selected bacteria and fungi. And the research that is being focused with this is a lot about brain, 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 neurogenesis, growing new brain, neuroinflammation, protecting the brain. There's so much that we should be looking at this for the brain, but it's not just the brain. Uh, the reason that uh, vitamin L is being proposed is they, they studied uh, thousands of individuals with more than 100 different compounds that they measured in their bloodstreams. And the one that was most associated with the lowest risk of disease and death, all causes, was ergothionine. Now, as humans, we do have this transporter that seeks it out. We just don't make it in our bodies. And mushrooms do offer the most abundant bioavailable source. So uh, shiitake, lion's mane, and oyster being way here at the top. But of course, all mushrooms are going to be offering us some value to it. So let's take a, a little bit of a deeper look at all of the research that's out there on it, uh, because this is important to point out. It can also be obtained through the diet. Uh, we just talked about the mushrooms, but also black beans. Black beans are one of those things that I talk about a lot. And we do have to make sure though, that if we're using food as our source, we have to understand that it has to be in a soil that is going to have microorganisms in it. The reason that it might be limited in our diet as Americans is because some common agricultural practices can disrupt the beneficial fungus plant root relationships. So just because we're, we're eating those foods doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting it. We have to make sure it is coming from a good organic source. So much about this in the ways and so many different studies coming out on how important it is for anti-aging. And again, um, we have this, uh, even the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease is looking into it. They have a pilot study. And in the pilot study, this is really great. The conclusions say that prolonged intake of this showed no toxicity in elder people. Um, and a bunch of different things were enhanced that uh, suggest improvements and memory and learning abilities and a deceleration of neuronal damage. So de slowing down any damage to the brain and the results add to existing data that it is safe for extended consumption. That's always a question we ask and may hold the potential delay of cognitive decline in elderly adults. So mushrooms, 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 these are gonna be a great way to do this. But there's one last little piece that I wanna share with everybody that could be even more mind blowing than that. We actually have, uh, or are supposed to have a species of probiotics in us called Lactobacillus ruteri. And there's a lot of information showing that ergothionine as a metabolite of it can be another way that our body is getting this. So it's not just having to get it from external sources. It's also about it making sure that our microbiome is nice and strong. And then of course, this whole article is about protecting against stress-induced sleep disturbances, which is really cool. And of course, that's going to promote longevity as well. So uh, final takeaway on this is make sure that you are incorporating ways to have this longevity nutrient in your life if you're seeking longevity and mushrooms, black beans. And sometimes you can find good supplemental sources, but make sure that they're not coming from a hydroponic source because it is very important to have the microbes in the soil that help to actually create that ergothionine. All right, just to get kicked off, we're going to just put our attention on this one. We'll have uh, every week a different nutrient and outlining how this may be associated with achieving longevity, making sure you're living as long as possible and as well as possible. Have a great day.